Hi, I'm Chris and I'm here with Ed. We're from the Baseball Canada Umpires Committee. And Ed, in this video, let's talk a little bit about uh, situations where a bat is thrown out into fair territory. Uh, a lot of times there's a belief that any time a bat hits a fair ball, the batter should be out for interference. Yeah, in a lot of cases, Chris, that's exactly what's going to happen. A batter is responsible for their bat at all times unless broken. So if I swing and I hit the pitch and the barrel breaks off, I cannot be held responsible for the barrel, but I am responsible for what's left in my hand, just like if the bat remains whole. So if I release the handle or the whole bat and it interferes with a fielder fielding that batted ball, or if it hits the batted ball itself, I have absolutely interfered. If I release the bat or even the broken bat and the ball rolls into it, I have done nothing wrong, and that would not be interference. So it really comes down to, does the bat hit the ball? Does the bat interfere with the fielder? Or if it's broken, then it's a whole other ball game. Yeah, so to wrap that up, most times if a whole bat hits a fair batted ball, the batter is going to be up for interference. But if the bat is stationary and the ball rolls into it, that would not be the case. And if the bat is broken, that would not be the case. So that's batter's interference with a thrown bat and join us for future videos.